how do you think about uh, layer ones? Do you think about that in the context of going mainstream uh, and and hitting maybe on your your uh, pillars for uh, for doing that? Yeah, I, I don't put like a tremendous amount of thought into it. I believe we'll live in a multi-chain future. I don't think there's going to be just one layer one. Um, I'm most bullish on Ethereum. I think it it has a lot going for it. It has a lot being built on it. It has a lot of scaling potential. And the decentralization aspect is is really important to a lot of people. And, and in terms of like very long-term Web3, it just makes the most sense for me. But it, you know, that there's trade-offs. There's there's transaction speeds. There's transaction costs. At least in the short term, um, there's you know room and space for many multiple layer ones at least. And I think we will have multiple layer ones, and we'll have them for various reasons. Whether it is faster speeds, faster transaction speeds, um, lower costs, or safety nets, guardrails, like on better onboarding processes than than you know maybe you have blockchains that are walled gardens, but you can buy and sell with a credit card and you don't need to set up a whole wallet and, and it's only partially custodied and all that kind of stuff. So I think, uh, yeah, multi-chain future almost for sure. Uh, I don't know what they'll be, but, uh, and, and I do suspect ETH will be the most popular smart contract blockchain. Uh, but who knows, you know, who knows 10 years from now, 20 years from now. Yeah. Do you, building on that, do you think about interoperability between blockchains at all? And you know, is is it? I mean, in some sense, you could say it's antithetical to the to the to kind of philosophies behind blockchain. But uh, what's your opinion on on interoperability? Yeah, I I'm, haven't thought too much about it. I'm not an expert on this side of the space. Um, I I do think like bridging assets from one chain to another and like that seems great to me. And we're seeing that, and I think we're going to see more of that. Obviously, bridges have risks. Uh, I've been hearing about layer zero, which seems like a pretty interesting protocol that allows, you know, exactly that. And curious to see where that plays out. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm basically, when it comes to this stuff, I, I just trust that people way smarter than me are going to figure out awesome solutions and it will just be a better future uh, in in a few years time. Like I, I, I just have that faith and 